first on Fox, more turbulence surrounding the troubled East St. Louis Housing Authority. They are holding a meeting right now after deciding to fire the former interim executive director. The jobs of about a dozen workers are also caught up in all of this chaos. Fox News' Elliot Davis is standing by live with us tonight with our You Paid For It follow-up on an agency that is in turmoil. Elliot. Yeah, Jasmine, certainly turmoil is a very good word to use uh, describing the situation here at the East St. Louis uh, Housing Authority. It came uh, to a head about two weeks ago when they decided to get rid of the last interim housing authority director. Now, they held a special meeting tonight. Let me show you some video of that meeting. It just ended just a uh, short time ago. It lasted, oh, about an hour. And like I said, their most important job was picking the person who's going to lead uh, this agency going forward. It's been leaderless for about two weeks. But even beyond that is the fate of about, oh, a dozen workers who will let go at the same time the last executive uh, director was. They had also lost their jobs. Uh, some of the commissioners said proper procedures weren't followed in the hiring of some of them. Now, I did get a chance to talk to the uh, president of the Housing Commission about the actions taken tonight. We're going to appoint an acting executive director, which is Teresa Johnson. She's been here over 30 years, mm -hmm. and she knows all the ins and outs of the housing authority. What about these workers? You said about a dozen workers. Now, what's the status of these workers, and what are you guys going to do? So some of the workers that does not have all the proper documentation to mm -hmm. start work, we're going to leave them off of our hire list, and we're going to hire the ones that has all the information and was hired properly. We're going to bring them back. Now, the last uh, interim housing authority uh, director, Jacqueline Powell, who was uh, terminated, she was accused of steering contracts to her relatives. Now, that is something I did talk to her. That is something she vehemently denies and says that's not true. Now, there are at least two police agencies who are investigating this one, the Illinois State Police, and I'm told also the FBI may be involved. Live at East St. Louis, I'm Elliot Davis, Fox 2 News.